ever show boyfriend on social media um maybe like bits and pieces like I have I don't ever plan on like including him fully on social media um I try to just make my uh, I'm trying to just make my social media about me you know Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. Today we're talking about Kira Renee, formerly known as OK Baby. Recently, she took an out of town trip with the boyfriend, and you won't believe what happened next. Last week, I posted a video on Kira talking about the fact that she pretty much has full custody of the kids. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here. Go check it out next. But recently, Kira said she was taking a trip with the boyfriend, and since she has the kids almost full time, her dad is staying at her house to watch the kids while she goes on this trip with her boyfriend. I've always been close with my dad, but I feel like recently, I don't know, it's been so nice having family support and help and just them visiting because I'm a very social butterfly in a week because I'm going out of town for a couple days and he's gonna watch the kids. Anytime Kira and Preston go out of town together, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I mean, I just can't help it. I automatically think they're going to hook up with somebody. They're chasing a threesome and they're going to find some random chick they met on the internet. Because of everything that she shared about their sex life, that's the first thing I think of when they go out of town. A few people on Reddit squashed that rumor. They said, Kira said she was visiting Preston's family in a live a while back. So they were just there in Chicago visiting Preston's family. Then Kira posted this on Instagram. Well, good morning. I kind of left you empty handed after saying I was on my road trip. Made it to Chicago on Thursday and then started Friday morning like this. Yes, this is my car being stolen from the Airbnb. Story time coming soon, but so much more also happened, so I'm not sure I'll ever go back to Chicago. I slowed the video down a little so I could talk over it and I could read what she wrote on the screen, but to me, it looks like her door was unlocked. It looks like they just reached over, opened the door, and got in. Then she posted this, but we're on our way home and I get to see the baby soon. Doing some spontaneous, not so smart Sunday road shopping. Products, categories, or brands I should shop. I'll share the link and haul and what's recommended. She must not be too worried about coming up with the money to pay her deductible to replace the car or having to get a new car, whatever she decides to do. I mean, I'm sure she has full coverage on the car. It's a newer car. So she probably just has to pay a deductible and then the insurance company will replace it. As far as her loan, I don't know if they'll pay her loan off. It depends on if she has gap coverage. I mean, there's so many things to go into replacing a stolen vehicle, but financially, she doesn't seem that worried about it because on the trip home, she is shopping. And she said she's doing some not so smart shopping. That's what Kira said. Maybe she's using shopping to deal with this whole situation. It seems like she was really stressed out and more stuff happened that I'm sure she'll tell us about in a YouTube video. Recently in a video, she was complaining about the price of apple juice and how it's a privilege to have juice in her household because it's so expensive. Rice, cheddar cheese, turkey, creamer, and last but not least, apple juice, which is a treat in this house because it goes by too quick and it costs too much money to keep up with these kids' demands. So I headed, I went to Walmart because I had to check out the price of this apple juice. It's $2.84. So a lot of mom content creators tend to complain about the things they have to buy for their kids. And then they'll spend just gobs of money on skincare, clothing, trips, alcohol, shoes, all the things. So it's just interesting to hear her complain about buying apple juice, which is $2.84 for her kids, but then she'll do a not so smart shopping trip, spontaneous shopping trip on the way home from vacation, from this trip to Chicago. She also said that she would share all the links and all the products that were recommended. So she is turning this into income. Mom content creators shop to make money. Shopping is part of their content. Although they're shopping, they're also making money at the same time. So you can't be tricked into shopping the way influencers shop because you're not making money every time you shop and they do. Big difference, 
Don't be fooled by them. You don't need to shop. Every time they shop, you don't need to click all their links and buy all the stuff they have. When you're tempted, just remember they're doing their job. They're working. They're creating income for their family. Their job is to convince you to shop every day. I cannot imagine doing that. I cannot imagine showing up online and trying to convince people to shop every day. In my opinion, it's toxic. And some of these mom content creators say, oh, I'm here to inspire and encourage other moms. Encouraging moms to shop all the time is not inspiring. It's toxic in my opinion. I believe Kira does a car tour, you know, to flex every time she buys a new car. So within the last year, she has bought two new cars, two new cars, and she's worried about apple juice that's $2.84. Next, I wanna read a few comments from Reddit. They were talking about how a thief can steal your car. I did not know some of this. I thought it was interesting and wanted to share. So a lot of people were saying she did not stay in a touristy area. Most of the tourists stay in the loop, but I think they didn't stay in that area because they were there to see his family. So I'm sure they stayed somewhere close to his family. Yeah, if your car has keyless access, all they need is a simple device and they basically steal the signal. It takes seconds, apparently. Yeah, and Kira has a newer car, so I'm sure she has keyless entry. Hotwire, essentially. A thief can use a device to trick the car into thinking the keys are inside, or if it's a Kia or Hyundai, all you need is a screwdriver and a USB stick. There's a device that's used to capture the signal of the car key fob that's inside the house, then amplified to open car doors. Once inside, the car thieves typically plug a key programmer into the car's onboard OBD port, usually located under the steering wheel where mechanics can usually plug in a diagnostic tool to the car's computer. Using this port, thieves can program a blank key fob to match the vehicle. It can be done on nearly any vehicle with a push to start ignition. Vehicles with physical keys require a separate tool to clone the key. Found this information from an article. It's a very common way to steal a car, especially if you have a new car, it's happening a lot. This is crazy. I did not know it was that easy to steal a new car. They just hijacked the signal. Did you know this? <laughs> because I did not know this. I also read a few comments from Reddit saying, if you're from out of town, you have an out of state license plate, thieves prey on you, thinking you have valuables in your car, etc. And a lot of people are saying this is Kira's karma. Do you think this is karma catching up to Kira? Do you think her car doors were unlocked? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today. See you next time.